Democratic Senator Bill Nelson of Florida serves on the Armed Services Committee. And Senator, you were in that hearing today. And I want to get your assessment of how much, uh, you, how valid and strong you think this plan is. That the, the idea is that on average, we would be training about 5,000 quote unquote moderate Syrian fighters per year. It would take an estimated 8 to 12 months to prepare each of these moderate Syrian rebels then trained by the United States. Is that a timetable that makes sense to you if the threat of ISIS is in urgent? You're talking about in Syria. Remember that it's going on now. We're attacking them as we speak with American boots on the ground in uh, Iraq. They're advisors, they're trainers, but uh, they're going to be and very possibly are uh, going with the Iraqi ground troops as they actually go into combat. That's going on. The question is, what do we do in Syria? I would not sus be uh, surprised if the president doesn't start airstrikes fairly soon. The one surprise for me in the hearing today was the fact that it's going to take about a year to train the Free Syrian Army in Saudi Arabia so they won't even get back with a equipped and a trained army to go after ISIS for a year. And, and I think that is, is the question that a lot of uh, your fellow senators had, that if you're taking a year to train these moderate Syrian rebels, assuming we know which ones to choose uh, and have sufficiently vetted them, in the interim, in that year, what happens? Is it then just U.S. airstrikes inside Syria? And how does that work out? Well, the short answer is yes. Uh, very possibly there will be some covert action that will be going on. Uh, we will see what our partners in this coalition will come up with and possibly some kind of, in addition to airstrikes, some kind of efforts on the ground. But what they want to do is they want to get rid of them in Iraq and then start to degrade and shrink them in Syria. Well, and you, so we're in this for the long haul. Well, you mentioned our partners in the region. I want to play you uh, an exchange between General Dempsey your colleague, uh, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, on just that point. Take a listen. So our national defense, in terms of stopping ISIL from killing thousands or millions of Americans if they get the capability, really comes down to whether or not we can convince the Arab world to go in there and, and defeat these guys. It really comes down to building a coalition so that that what the Arab Muslim world sees is them rejecting ISIS. Well, putting aside the, hyper the hyperbole of uh, uh, Senator Graham saying that ISIS was going to be able to kill millions of Americans, is the core argument there by General Dempsey correct? That essentially we are trying to put uh, a, a regional Arab Sunni face on this fight and that that is the priority rather than a big U.S. military presence to just out and out decimate this organization, this terrorist organization. Yes, Joy, under the theory that at the end of the day, it's got to be Sunnis that reject this extremism that is uh, very apparent with ISIS. Well, I wonder also about this question of the Iraq versus Syria portion of what we are trying to do. Obviously, we have no relationship with the Bashar al-Assad government in Syria, but you do have elements of that government who are now throwing up red flags about the Free Syrian Army. You have a member of their parliament saying, wait a second, be careful who you're arming because some of these people are actually selling hostages to ISIS. And there is a question, I think, in a lot of Americans' minds about how much we can trust this Free Syrian Army who not long ago were either a collection of dentists and farmers who were not worth arming or who were questionable as to whether or not they themselves were aligned with extremism. Why now do we believe that they are a proxy force, force not only worth helping and training, but worth giving American arms? Because we vetted them for two years and we will continue to vet them. And I have asked the question that you just raised, did they sell Steve Sotloff? And I am told, no, it was not the Free Syrian Army. All right. Thank you very much, Senator Bill Nelson. Appreciate it. Thanks, Joy.